This is the 40 EDR management console. It centrally manages and controls the 40 EDR installation across the organization. This is the dashboard view where we can see unhandled security events and communicating applications that require attention. Threat statistics also show up for the lower panes to help you focus and drill down to the most targeted devices or processes. And on the right side, two panes present all the components of the 40 EDR installation and their health. From here, you can drill down or navigate to the event viewer to handle the alerts or start a forensic investigation on the forensics tab. We'll switch to the security policies. 40 EDR security policies are composed from six main policies. One for pre-execution, which is based on our proprietary machine learning models. Two for post-infection, those are the exfiltration and ransomware prevention policies. Two are for attack surface reduction, which are the device control, and that enforces your organization's policy regarding peripherals such as USB storage devices. And the other is application control. And finally, one for our XDR or extended detection capabilities. Each policy has a set of rules, which can be set to block the action they represent or only log the activity without blocking. That would be the case also when the policy is set to simulation rather than prevention. Individual rules can be disabled if you want to stop monitoring a specific activity whatsoever. You can set up any number of policies and once you're done configuring them, you can always easily assign a group of collectors to different policies using drag and drop or with the toolbar. As you can see here, the ransomware protection policy is set to prevention, while the execution prevention policy is set to simulation, meaning it will not block suspicious processes, only report on them. This endpoint is protected by 40 EDR collector, and it is assigned to the ransomware protection policy that is set to prevention. For demonstrating the rollback, we will run a ransomware that runs slowly. Files that the ransomware encrypts before the 40 EDR collector concludes it's a ransomware will be automatically rolled back and restored. After the 40 EDR collector concludes this process is a ransomware, no additional files will be encrypted. Pay attention to the pictures on the desktop, especially to the monkey and the dog at the top and the cat to the left. As you can see, some of the pictures have been encrypted, which followed by a restore. Other pictures have stayed intact. So now we're back on the console. We're going to switch to the event viewer. We can see that my ransomware has triggered two alerts. The first has been triggered by the next generation antivirus policy and hasn't been blocked as it was running in simulation. The second one has been triggered by the 40 EDR ransomware policy and has been blocked. In the graph below on the advanced tab, you can actually see the process tree of this attack. 